guys, this is Gardens and welcome to our tutorial. Uh, we're still working with applying textures and uh, today's lesson will be mapping NURB, uh, texture mapping NURBS surfaces. So now that we've learned how to apply textures to objects, I'm going to show you how, um, how these materials map to specific objects. And uh, this, depends up, um, this depends entirely upon the type of geometry that we have for that actual object. So we're going to start with um, this one, a NURBS-based uh, surface, a NURBS-based uh, geometry, and we're going to yeah, pretty much work with this one. So um, if I apply a material to this uh, object, if I apply um, a material to this object, as you know, guys, this is nothing new to you guys. You just uh, click on the um, blend material to attach a blend to that. Then, because um, we want to uh, map, we want to map this uh, blend um, material with the rusty material that we worked with earlier. So, do that. I hope you're following along, guys. That and this is nothing to you. You probably know rusty material. Open. So, voila, we've got that um, uh, rusty material on there. But bear in mind that it won't show until you turn uh, hardware texturing on. So just hardware texturing, that comes up, okay? So now we're happy, now we're happy that um, we've got the rusty material on there. So now I'm going to show you how this works. Um, this is how, this is exactly how this works, okay guys? Let me just uh, close this one. So let's um, go ahead and uh, get a surface. We've got that uh, surface, and um, uh, if we if we um, assign existing material, blend one, okay, to that which is pretty much assigning this material to um, to that, you will notice. Let's um, let's just check out the control vertices. You notice that if we um, Click on W. If we actually deform this, okay, you if we actually try to deform this, you will notice that the texture sticks. Okay, the the um uh, the rusty texture sticks to this uh sur the um, nerves surface. This is because um it's really mapping the x and y coordinate of the bitmap that we've got. So um, it's pretty much uh, okay. Let me explain it properly. It's uh, it's really mapping the x and y coordinates of the of the actual bitmap. Okay, uh, it's mapping that to the u and v coordinates of the patch. So bitmap in uh, simple English, I would say um, it's. Uh, it's mapping the x and y coordinates of the rusty material, okay, to the u and v coordinates of the patch, the nerves surface that we've got. So, so um, it's exactly the same for this um, for this fender. This, the, 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 the same principle that I've actually explained on here is exactly the same for that one. Okay, same principle, except for the fact that this one is shaped differently and it's uh, mapped differently okay so let's just uh, delete this one and come up with that so if we go to our attributes um, editor well we'll click on that one we can uh, uh, ch -ch -ch. go we might as well um, if we look at our blend material Let's see, where is it? Place 2D texture, okay? Go to your blend material and press um, up to, to go to um, place 2D texture. So if we go to place 2D texture, we'll see all these um, attributes that we've got, like, uh, yeah, all these attributes that we've got here that we can play with in here, like on there in real life. So um, we can... We can certainly, let's go blend one, we've got that, 
and uh, go up plus 2d texture we can actually uh, we can repeat where is repeat we can um, repeat but most importantly it um, most importantly of the repeat right now it's uh, covering at um, a ratio of 1 to 1 which is the whole lot so if we put a uh, point um, point 0.5 you will notice that um, it will cover only 50 percent of the um, of the material so I always say play with it because uh, I doesn't it won't make much sense if I play with it from this side you you still see the same thing I'll just waste your time so guys play with um, repeat UV and see how that works out okay play with that and see how that works out then um, you can also uh, you can also rotate you can also rotate um, the frame as you can see in that window you can rotate uh, the frame you can also translate this to work on a one-to-one -one, um, basis so if I say um, translate if I also say translate um, if I say translate to one you will notice anything okay you will notice anything but if I say translate to uh, you you need to use a, for the for the translation guys I just need to point it out you need to use a um, fraction like uh, um, what 0 0.2 okay you need to use like uh, point 0.2 for you guys to notice what's going on and here like 0.3 or something it's up to you guys. Then you you notice the difference, okay? You notice the like a, a glitch change in it. So that's um that's how it works. And the other thing that I need to point out is uh, you can also use the interactive placement. Sorry, you can use the interactive placement. Um, you can use the interactive placement. Oh, it's, it looks a bit messy. Jeez, look at that. Looks like my granddad's signature. <laughs> Yeah. You can use the interactive placement, and as, as you can see, um, the cursor changes. Usually, yeah, the the cursor changes. So what what happens? You have to um, make sure that um, you you have to make sure that your your uh, bitmap is small enough to actually drag it left and right. You know, drag drag it to where you want it to be. So yeah, that's that, that's the best way I can put it, guys. I know it's a bit messed up right now. You can't see much because um, everything is everywhere. But uh, if you reduce, um, we might as well do it, guys. While we while we here, might as well do it. If we go um, coverage to point two. We've got that little thing in here. If we try to translate, the, uh, the middle one will be good. Um, middle mouse click and just move it. You know, middle mouse click and just move it to where you want it to be. It's a bit, because, uh, yeah, that's how it works. You can um, move it to where you want it to be. Make sure you middle mouse. If you left click, nothing is gonna happen, guys. Middle mouse click to wherever you want it to be. So that's my little um, demo that I can pretty much show you. But again, you you if you can if you if you um, paying enough attention to learn my to learn my with me, there's nothing like you know. I, I think I'm a good teacher. So what that's what people say, but. Um, I hope you you've learned something, guys. You know, I hope you've um, learned something with my tutorial. So, um, pretty much the rule of thumb is um, one nerve's surface surface. Pardon my accent. One nerve's surface basically equals one bitmap image. Okay, so so this uh, makes it very easy to stick bit bitmap to NURBS makes it easy to, uh, to stick the bitmaps to NURBS. So, yeah. Sorry, I'll repeat.
um, one NURBS surface basically equals one bitmap. Okay, one bitmap image. So this makes it very easy to stick bitmaps to NURBS. I hope that makes sense, guys. So there you go. Play with it, and uh, if you're not subscribed, um, please please do. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.